asshole! Yeah! What a day. Yeah, I took an expected turn out my coffee still warm. <laughs> Not only did the man in the abandoned church let us in his home, he also scared off the wild dogs. <laughs> no joke. Like, wild I've never dogs. even had a standoff like that with dogs before. Flashback. This is insane. This dude lives in this bando. He let us in and now we're like exploring it. It's crazy. It's seriously crazy. He lives here. What? What? It's cold. Yeah. I don't know where we're going. No, that, this door here. That's the men's. You gotta take this, is it? Yeah. Last door on the left. Alright, thank you. That oh, you got a nice mirror in here? Yeah. It's not nice, it's just, it just, you know, we can buy it. Flush it, there you Alright, thank you. I mean, the, oh, his, his name on? Yeah. Damn. What makes you stand, what does it stand out to someone who is not in that realm of footwear? How do you notice out of everyone's shoes? What is it that's like, oh. Well, that's, those are different. Those are, those are unique. I've never seen anything like those. Never. Never seen anything like those. I've seen Jordans, you know, I've never seen those. Yeah. And I just want to run through a bunch of abandoned buildings in them, so they're probably going to get dirty fast. Oh, no, you don't want to do that in an abandoned building because you don't know what the hell you're going to step in. I know, that's what you I, I ruin all my white some shoes. Damn, some damn uh, water that's leaking off a pipe or something like that. Yeah, I literally ruin all my shoes in abandoned buildings within uh, like two weeks. Just because I'm in a hood, I mean, I'm, I may look like, a, like an old crackhead or whatever, you know, but I'm... I don't think you look well, like a crackhead at all, to be honest. My facility is... <laughs> what if you want to put that on yourself? <laughs> oh, I'm just saying, you know, some people say, you know, it's just like being outside. I get six outside. I don't need a freezer. I just put the stuff in the window. And what, the cats just stay warm and you sleep by the space heater? Yeah. Perfect. Well, I got blankets too, so... You know, I can get a park, but I don't, I don't feel like doing that right now. 
Yeah, it's way cooler to live in an abandoned building. Huh? It's way cooler to live in a whole building. Well, yeah, I, well, I wouldn't live in a like a like a abandoned house. That's too. That's too. Yeah. That's too, that's too risky. Yeah. Way too risky. Besides the rats, I would have problems with people. Like you know, always trying to never know who's gonna come sneak in while I'm sleeping. Stuart, I know you live in a bando, but do you got a Facebook? Uh, no, I got a, I got a, um, uh, what is it called, uh, uh, I got a Hey, well, what is it? What is it to go up there? What is it cost to go up there in the future? Uh, oh, I kind of got that drill. What if I told you we climb on skyscrapers pretty often? Really? <laughs> really? Does that change the trajectory? What a crazy, crazy day. We're just driving around randomly and we end up going inside of this amazing Bando church and then getting into all this cool stuff. Just goes to show you when you're out shooting in the right place at the right time, you never know what's gonna happen. That was really cool. Super hyped on that. That dude was crazy. That was very interesting to say the least. Couple takeaways from today. The most bizarre thing is that he realized that the Yeezys were like different. You know what I'm saying? Like for whether you like them or hate them, you cannot take away from the fact that someone sees something and they're like, oh, that looks different. You know what I mean? Like in terms of like the design quality or anything like that. So that was super interesting to me. Excuse me. That's what happens when you're tired. Um, well, I guess right now, really the only other thing to talk about other than you going in RSVPing to the Kill Your Local event that I'm doing April 7th. Go RSVP right now, it's gonna be fun. Um, anything else you need to know about the event? There's still a few vendor spaces available. If you're a vendor, a clothing company, an artist, whatever, and you wanna be a part of it, then go to this link, has the information, you could situate a vendor space. You just gotta follow the info. Other than that, I hope you all come out. You gotta get tickets, or you can get tickets now. Do that, it's gonna be a fun time. We're gonna do a vlog about that. Also, action sports people, feel free to come out. You can ride or skate for the crowd. It's gonna be really, really fun. Just trying to get a bunch of people in one room, just like the last event. It'll be sick, well, two rooms, a giant warehouse, actually. Skate park, whatever you wanna call it. Anyways, here's my next thing I'm tackling. Podcast season. Gonna save this for next week's vlog. All right, so look, I forgot to say, uh, as Detroit's own, which is obviously my brand, and Handlebar Detroit, which is the pedal pub you see downtown, the best pedal pub you see downtown, we're doing a giveaway on opening day. You get 16 tickets to ride the Handlebar for free around the city. I'm making a video of the tour, 
and then you get 16 tickets to the opening day festival also which is right by Comerica Park. If you want to enter the giveaway, you got to follow at is Detroit's own and at Handlebar Detroit, and then comment the post with the video in it, tagging some of your friends that you would like to take on the tour. Go do it now. We're going to announce the giveaway winners. The date is in the, the description. I don't really remember, but yeah, it's going to be wild. Let's get it. Go comment, go follow. On to the next one.